The new season of Siege is finally here and I've teamed up with Elevate once again to bring you some of the best tips and tricks for the new map layer in Operation Deep Freeze. From Azami setups to Thermite tricks and Valcams, we've got it all, so let's dive in and check it out. What is happening guys, it's Alan here from the Dangleberries and we're going to dive straight in here checking out an Azami setup for the first floor briefing room. Now this is a great setup to stop anyone pushing that security room door. You can put them under a lot of pressure with this one way angle. So by placing a keeper barrier on the pillar on the back side of the briefing room, you can then place two more keeper barriers on the ventilation above the door. Now this allows you to have that really sharp one way angle on that door and they will have no chance chance of getting shots on you and you'll be able to see from their waist down and get some easy picks. Now the reason for putting the two keeper barriers on the vents is because they won't be able to hit it if you put it on the top of the door of course they will be able to hit it. They won't be able to reach in and knife it and get rid of it so this is a really good way to hold that door. Moving down into Missile on the basement level of the map. Now, this is a bit of an unorthodox setup, but it could work for anyone pushing towards that lab bomb site. If you run onto the monitor and run along the edges of the shelves, you can get up on top of this upper shelf. And then by placing a Kiba barrier on the door and then a Kiba barrier on the light, you'll be able to block both those doorways and use them for angles for anyone pushing into this room. Now, you can add a third Kiba barrier to the railings above on the ceiling to block anyone who breaches open that wall and you can catch them off guard and get some easy picks. Moving on to the next one guys and I have a very simple hiding spot for you here on the first floor range exit. Now all you have to do is by vaulting up on top of the blocks in the corner and then laying prone behind the light making sure that your legs are not visible by putting them behind you. You can be completely invisible for anyone coming in that range exit door or coming in from the range room. Now you'll see here that I'm literally invisible behind that light pushing in no one's going to check that corner and you can pop up and get some easy picks. Moving on over for a couple of thermite tricks for you. The first located here on the missile lobby. Now this is for the labs wall below. Now this of course is only if you cannot get the devices or utility off the wall. This is like a last resort. But if you place a thermite charge on the ground right next to this reception desk, you'll be able to open the top half of the wall into the lab site. Now you'll see here once it's opened that it opens up half the wall and you can also use it for angles down into the site as you can see on screen but you can also go down there and use it by jumping up on top of the counters and you can look over the wall and watch for anyone who's made a rotate into the other bomb site or you can use it as a good hold position for your teammates to push into the site. Now I have another thermite trick for you here located just off the or six room inside the storage room. Now big shout out to Royal Penguin for showing this one off. Now this is really straightforward. Again, if you can't get that utility off the wall into or six room, you can just place your thermite charge on the floor right in front of the wall. And I know a lot of you guys would know about this one because you can do this on a lot of maps, but this map just has so many different things that you can do on it. And this allows you to get that stuff off the wall. And if it is a cage, you can still use it for angles into the site and get some picks and help your team push for the diffuser.
Moving on to the next tricks, guys, and I have a couple of really good echo spots that you can use on this map. The first of which is outside in the missile lobby. Now, what you can do here is upstairs on the mezzanine, you can throw an echo drone in behind the missile, and it will be in the gap between the pillar, so it will be very difficult for attackers to shoot it out, and you can pop up and get a lot of intel for your teammates, and of course, use its ability to disorientate the enemy, and you can run out and get some easy picks. Now the next echo spot is located on the first floor inside the bunks. This is a really good one for this bomb site. If you place your echo drone in the top bunk, you actually can't see it as an attacker is running into the bomb site trying to get that diffuser down. You can't see it when it's laying flat. So if you're sitting in a good space with echo, you'll be able to pop up and set it up against the top of the bunk and then hit the attacker putting down the diffuser and delay the bomb going down and help your team win the round. Moving on over onto the next tricks, guys, and I have a bunch of Valcams for you to use here. The first of which is inside the lockers room inside the basement. If you place the cam right inside the drone hole, you can watch the whole of lockers and the doors coming in, heading towards lab, and you can watch out towards the warehouse. Now, once you have this set up, of course, you can give so much intel to your teammates of any attackers making their way towards the bomb site. Now the next one is located inside the reception again right next to the missile you can place it up on top on the frame that's holding up the missile and it's very difficult for attackers to see especially if they're coming in from the outside door at the end of the stairs again a lot of intel for your teammates and you can run out from the master room side onto the balcony and get some easy picks now you can place this a little lower it won't show as much of the room you could use it for i guess sound to give to your teammates but it still shows some of the room but the cam is less likely to be shot out Now this next cam is a very simple one for the filtration room on the basement level. This is to watch for anyone again pushing down the staircase or coming in the window from the basement level to head towards the lab site. If you place it up in the corner against the light, anyone jumping in will not see the camera and you can get some really good intel to your teammates. Now of course there is a default cam there as well, but of course people are going to jump in, shoot out that cam and they'll think that they are not going to be seen, but you can give that intel to your teammates. So for these last couple of tricks, this is a really simple mirror setup that you can use for the master and mask room site. Now this first one is on the single wall. This is a really strong mirror window, making sure to place it to the furthest to the left so you can use it to get all the intel of anyone trying to breach into that main wall or come in the doorway off of mezzanine. And you can give so much intel and get some easy picks. Now the second one is a little bit of a risky one, but it would be definitely a fun one to try out if you reinforce the left wall on that outside wall and then open up the right side of it you'll be able to watch anyone trying to push that main wall because a lot of people will try to get that wall open and push in and get that diffuser down and you'll be able to hold them off and potentially win the round So that is it for the video guys make sure to drop down into the comment section if you want to see more tips and tricks and if you have something specific you'd like to see on the channel whether it be val cams for the new map or maestro cams or just general tricks let us know down below so we can get that to you now if you haven't got your hands on the maverick elevate bundle make sure to go over to the or shop and get your hands on it. it is an amazing skin set now if you're new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when we upload our next video and i'll talk to you in the next one.